Hi, my name is Al from Man Cave TV. And I'm Shish from Batia. We have teamed up for Men's Health Week to give you the playbook on how to better look out for your mates. Tip number one, look out. This could be something behavioural or something physical, something in your gut that tells you something's up with your mate. And you don't have to be a detective. You're not trying to solve a crime here and look for all the clues. Like you, you know when something's up with your mate. So look out for the signs. Step number two, this one is a brain hack because your brain is going to tell you to not have an uncomfortable conversation. But the best way through this and the best way that you can support your mate is brain hacking yourself and starting the chat. How do we actually do this though? Well, a big part of it is giving them an opportunity to speak up if they want. So ask open-ended questions and if they don't respond straight away or they get a bit defensive, that's fine because they know you're there for the future. And you're doing it because you love your mate. Tip number three, listen up. Tune into your mate. Now I know it sounds simple, but just being there, letting them be heard and having their back, it's really cool. You're not a psychologist, so you don't need to fix everything. And on top of that, what happens when you're done? The best thing that we can do for our mates is saying thank you, because it's hard to open up. And so when we find our mates in situations where they do that, it's our opportunity to shout them out and let them know that that's okay in the future too. Step number four, reach out. You've just listened to your mate open up and maybe you feel like they need more help than you can provide. In the same way, if they rocked up to you with a broken arm, you're not gonna try to fix that for them. You're gonna recommend that they go to a doctor. And so what that looks like in the mental health game is going to go see a psychologist or a counselor. Now, these days, it's not all about just going and being there in person. It can be about texting them. You can have a phone call, even a video call if that's what you feel more comfortable with. There are so many ways that you can find help. Exactly, and you don't need to be the psychologist, but you can be the wingman. So this might look like going into that initial appointment with them, picking up the phone and helping them make that call, or just simply letting them know of the services out there. Luckily for you, we've uh, put all the professional services in the description, so check them out. Tip number five, take charge. Now your job as a mate doesn't end here. Continue to listen in and be supportive of your mate. Maybe that's checking in, going for a kick of the footy, going and grabbing some food. It can be hard sometimes as well knowing that your mate's going through a hard time. So if this story has like rattled you at all or if you feel like you want to talk about it anymore, you can use the services that we've put in the description as well. And just making sure that just because your mate has shared that story with you one time, doesn't mean that you can just go and share that story anytime with anyone else. That's their story and it's their story to own. So making sure that if you have conversations with other people, that you keep it to yourself. So you've heard from us the five tips. <laughs> so you've heard the five tips from us. Now what are you gonna do about it? Our challenge for you is to get the ball rolling and start with step number one. Look out for your mates. You know your mates better than anyone. If you see any behavior changes, you get a little bit worried about them, you know what steps two, three, four, and five are. So get around them. This has been a collaboration with Man Cave TV and Batir. Have a sick one and love your mates. Yo!